Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be decluttering all of my blushes, highlighters, and then a much smaller section of my individual bronzers and contours. This is part of my big declutter week. I'm trying to get through and just declutter everything before I have to pack all this up, move, and reorganize everything. So I'm going to be very strict here, because honestly, I feel like my blush collection has exploded in the last year, and I definitely have a lot of highlighters, so I think we can do a really good job here. So I first want to start with the smaller section, because the bronzers and contours, there really isn't a whole lot here. I've actually done a good job of keeping it pared down. Um, let's go through. So first we've got this Burberry one. Technically it's a dark earthy blush, but I really like this tone. It's so pretty, so I'm going to keep that one. This Milani, it's actually a face powder, but it's a dark, and so I've been using it as a, um, a very light bronzer, but it's almost done. Like, I repressed this. This lasted a long time, so I want to keep this until I can finish panning it. I have to be honest, I've barely touched this Makeup Geek bronzer, and I feel like it's time for me to let go of it, so this is going to get decluttered. Next we have the ABH bronzer, and I feel like I need to pull this out and use it more. I haven't used it a whole lot, so I really don't have a full opinion on it. So I'm going to hold on to this one. Next, a bronzer that I actually love. This is from The Balm, and this is before they had to rebrand all of these. This is the Take Home the Bronze, and this is an Oscar. Just a really nice shade and just perfect for me. So I'm going to hold on to this. Okay, so last and least, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, which was way too much money for what it ended up being. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know, I feel like I kind of want to pan this, like, spite pan it, you know? I'm not getting rid of it, though. It was way too expensive, so I'm going to hold on to that one. All right, so we only really decluttered the Makeup Geek, but this is everything we have left for individual bronzers and contours. All right, so into the Alex drawer. Do I want to start with highlighters or with blushes first? Let's go with the blushes, because I think, well, this is a blush, this is a blush, blush. I think I split this down the middle, exactly, and did like this half blush, and then this half highlighter. So let's go through the blushes first. These two are fairly new. These are from Cover Effects, and these are the duos. I have the Mojave Mauve, which is gorgeous. And then I have, what shade is this? Soft Peach, which is, again, stunning. Ah, it's gorgeous. So those are a definite keep. This is technically a blush highlighter, but I think I'm going to go ahead and let this go. This is from Profusion. They have really good products. You know, to be honest, Profusion has so many great affordable palettes. I just, I really like their face palettes above their all, like, one highlighter palettes, you know? Um, so this one, I don't reach for it as often. I don't use it. I, this should go to a better home. Speaking of uh, this California blush, I, I just don't like the packaging and I'm not using it enough. And it hit super hard pan. You can see I had to scrape at it to really get product up. It's just, to, at this point, it's not worth it for me. So this one's going to get decluttered as well. Let's see, this one's still relatively new. Um, this is from uh, Wet n Wild. This is the Hello Halo Blush Lighter. It's got a risque name. It's called the After Sex Glow. <laughs> Um, but it's really pretty, so I'm going to keep this. Like in every other declutter that I've mentioned, anything from the ColourPop and Sailor Moon collection, I love, I love Sailor Moon. Like, I just got to keep this. This is the cutest little blush. All right, I think it's time to get rid of this one. I don't like this, and I've only kept it because it's pretty packaging, and it's MAC. <laughs> That's not a good enough reason anymore. This is the MAC and Patrick Star Blush Duo, and it's just meh. It's just meh. I don't need this. Alrighty, so we have a pretty vulgar blush, and this is actually a really pretty blush. I would not have paid full price for this. I got this in a, um, I think it was a boxy charm, so it's pretty old. But I really like this. I just wouldn't have paid the 30 whatever dollars for it. But I like the packaging, I like the product, so I'll keep this one. Oh, we got a cream blush up here from Fenty. I'm definitely keeping. I adore this shade. Look at this. Stunning. Yes. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, this one's a classic, Milani Luminoso. Of course, I'm keeping this. I love this to death. Let's see, two more cream blushes. I've got the Kaja uh, Face Bento Box in Juicy Watermelon. This is, this is beautiful. I really love this, and I'm glad that I was able to get this. 
And this uh, cream blush, this is from Wander Beauty, and I'm shocked at how much I like this. This is so nice. I got this in a Try Beauty box. Definitely keeping it. All right, I've got all of these loose blushes, I believe, just those. Yeah, all of these are from, um, all of these are from Crow and Pebble, which is a indie brand based out of the UK, I believe. And these are stunning. I believe I did a whole video on Crow and Pebble. I'll have that linked in the cards if you're interested, but I adore these loose blushes. They're just stunning. So I'm definitely keeping those. <laughs> Uh, another little indie brand. Unfortunately, this one's no longer available. This is Geek Chic Cosmetics, and this is the blush in Let Them Eat Cake. And I'm definitely gonna hold on to this one. Now, these blushes, these are from the AOA Studio line. They're perfectly good blushes. I really do enjoy them, especially for a dollar. You get a lot of product, and they're good quality. I need to reach for them more often, though. I do like them, so I am gonna hold on to them. All right, so last for the blush side, we've got this e.l.f. blush. So this is actually one I believe I decluttered a while ago and then I pulled back into my collection because it's just really pretty. Yeah, so I'm going to keep this. <laughs> All right, so I think that's everything for the blush side. Let's jump into the highlighters. All right, so um, let's start with the highlighter palettes. I really do love the ABH glow kits. I've got a soft spot for them. I've got the Moonchild glow kit here. Beautiful, stunning, keeping it. This one I think is my favorite. This is the uh, Sugar glow kit. I love the Starburst shade and I also love Marshmallow. Oh, keeping it. This is the Nicole Guerrero glow kit that I actually got off a friend of mine. This is I bought this right before, right at the time that this was like re-released, um, but I really like this. It's really cute. So keeping that one too. And then we've got the Dream Glow Kit. It's a little messy, but I do like this too, so keeping it. Um, and then this Wet n Wild highlighting palette. I love the Wet n Wild highlighting formula, but I hate the packaging of like the, the individual pans. So having a palette like this is perfect. I love these to death. So also keeping those. <laughs> I didn't get rid of any of those palettes. I think this is the last palette that we have. This is from the Kylie Cosmetics Weather Collection. I actually used this a lot in the last month or so, and it's really good quality still, so I'm gonna keep this. All right, let's move on to some stuff I think I can go ahead and get rid of. First of all, this uh, Makeup Geek highlight. I don't reach for it that often. And I've got this shade in my palette, so this is gonna go. Next, I tried to get myself to use this for so long, and it's just not happening. This is from Iconic Beauty. This is a like a cream highlighter stick. I don't use these, I don't need them. Next, I've got this highlighter from Too Faced that I paid way too much money for and I barely reach for. And it's not even that great. <laughs> so this is gonna go. Doo -doo -doo. This MAC one, I think I'm gonna keep just because it's MAC and it was like limited edition and then when it came back like in stock, everyone on YouTube like threw up over it <laughs> and then I got it. This is Whisper of Guilt and it's pretty but not like as you know not the worth honestly not worth the price but I'm gonna hold on to it. Oh here's an easy one this is from Jefferson Starship and I actually hit pan in this highlighter surprisingly but this is getting decluttered with the rest of my Jeffree Star shit. All right my loose highlighters back here I've got two from Crow and Pebble, and I have one from Geek Chic, and I do love all of these, so I'm going to keep those. Here's another loose highlighter that I pulled out from the declutter pile from last time. because I, I got rid of this because I didn't know how to use loose highlighter or like it, and after working with those other loose highlighters, I realized how much I like loose highlighter, so I pulled this back out. This is again from the Kylie Weather Collection, and it's just really pretty, so I'm going to keep this. Alrighty, this one, uh, the Annette 69 in Beauty Creations. I got this in a Try Beauty box and it's really pretty. It is kind of similar though to this, Essence Pure Nude. But the Pure Nude is such a nice affordable option. Yeah, I'm gonna keep both of them. <laughs> um, another classic that I have to keep. This is from Musicians Formula and this is the Natural Nude Shimmer Break. I love this. This is actually one of the first highlighters that I ever got. It's so good. <laughs> I love it. All right, we got two full-size Becca highlights. This one is actually one I just panned, and this is my backup, <laughs> if you can believe it or not. This is the Royal Glow Highlighter. Look at it. It's one of the only full-size highlighters I've panned, and the only full-size highlighter I've panned and then gotten a backup of. It's amazing. I love it. 
And then this one is in the shade Moonstone. That's a gorgeous shade. Definitely keeping that one. All right, so I think this is one that I decluttered and then brought back, and I think I'm going to declutter again. This is from Milani, and this is the Strobe Light Afterglow Highlighter. And I, I just, I think I have the shade in one of my other palettes or something. And it's not something that's good enough that I'm, like, picking it out over everything else, so, meh. Definitely keeping this one. This is my Dior highlighter, and it's got pan in it. How pretty. And I keep it in my little pouch. <laughs> it costs a lot of money. Next, I've got two of these AOA Studio um, highlighters. I love this formula. I keep both of these because the first one that was sent to me was shattered. So I repressed it to see how well the formula would do. And it actually works really well repressed. Um, and then this one, they resent me a new one and it came just fine. So I like having these to compare. And they're only a dollar each. I love this. I actually want to get... I shouldn't. But I want to get more shades <laughs> in this formula. Actually, once, like, my no-buy is done and, like, I'm in my new makeup budget, I really want to do a big haul from Shop Miss A because everything's a dollar. It's really affordable and they've got good products. So I'm probably going to get more of these, but not for a bit, but I love these. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, we have these two little saucers from Becca. These are Opal Flashes Jade and Pearl Flashes Gold. These are just so cute and I like the size. I kind of wish the other ones were this size, too. These are just so pretty. And I like them. Um, mm, yeah, I'm gonna keep them. Keep them. Oh no, I dropped one. Alright, so I am gonna go ahead and put everything back in the drawer reorganized and we'll see what we're left with. So that is everything that we are left with. It's a little bit better. <laughs> I really do want to reorganize the entire insides of these Alex drawers, especially after I move. I'm going to get another full five Alex drawer set like this one. So hopefully most of my makeup will fit into those two Alex drawers. And I'm excited to see what kind of dividers and stuff I can find for the inside. So thank you guys so much for watching this declutter. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification so you're ready for the next video in declutter week. And then for the regular, blah, 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 blah. And for my regular videos, which are every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I almost forgot my own schedule. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.